y'all. Another day, FLA. I know it's kind of hot. I mean, kind of cold up north. A lot of people going through a lot of snow and shit. Hope everybody's all right. Down here, it was kind of cold. Well, it ain't cold compared to up there. It's like 72. So, another thing in FLA. Now, I want to make a... Uh, I made a video yesterday uh, entitled for uh, Young Pharaoh Under Attack. I took it down because I want to do it again. And the last time, because everybody misunderstood what I was talking about. Not everybody, but... Some people disagreed, and that's all good. I don't want everybody to disagree. I mean, agree with every video that I do. But um, what I was trying to say is that if, P word here, if Sonetta and these brothers was doing this shit to this man, it's crossing the line. It's low and it's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? That shit shouldn't. And like, and like I said in the video, it's a problem, man, with people disagreeing and they can't just leave it at that. They got to try to put your personal info online and all this shit. I personally didn't see the video of him putting out Young Pharaoh's address, but I've heard a lot of people tell me that. Now, we all don't know what the hell really happened unless you're close to Sonnet and these brothers and you have some inside information. We don't know. It's always going to come from this side saying this side. So it's like you got to take someone's word for it. Right? Who you trust the most. I'm saying from my experience of watching Pharaoh, I never got. Not saying he's perfect. Hell no. You saw my other videos that I disagree uh, with him. You know what I'm saying? On certain things. But I just never got a certain... Uh, uh, I never just got that certain vibe from them. I don't know. All right. All I know is if they doing that shit is fucked up and me taking back what I said about uh, uh, General Seti, Sarah Sutton Seti, OK, is watching Shaka's breakdown. And I take I don't take back. He did an excellent job. He did, um, you know, for some powerful information, I think people calling him fucking gay and all that shit is still fucking whack looking at the man's fucking hairstyle is just ridiculous but when i said that statement that i took it from as far as how shaka was talking that he didn't know dr ben he didn't have a relationship with dr ben from watching now one of my boys sent me a video and i watched it of seti showing these slides and talking about his history of being around dr ben from my from watching all that, my conclusion is hell yes, he 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 did have a, a um a relationship with Dr. Ben. All right, and for, now people are gonna pick pop. Oh, well he wasn't a student, and I, who knows? Who knows? Who was around Seti when he was going around Dr. Ben? You know what I'm saying? We don't know. Oh shit! What nasty accident, man! Nasty accident. Damn. Anyway, um, we don't know. We're going from, I know I'm going from, from watching these brothers for years and seeing the videos that what they put up. We don't know. It's either you're going to take Pharaoh's and their words for it or you're going to take Sonetta's word for it. Now, like I said, I'm that person. I try to be biased in when I'm looking, uh, uh, you know, talking about information on anybody's platform because, and people don't like that because one time, I, or one day, I'll be calling out Sonetta and some shit, right? Oh, damn, that's fucked up, Sonetta. And then the next thing, he does something that I, I didn't have a problem with, and I agree with, like, yeah, Sonetta was cool for doing it. So, and that, to them, is flip-fucking-flopping. No, it's not flip-fucking-flopping. Uh, it's, I do that, you take, you don't, I don't agree with anybody 100%. You take, it's truth everywhere. You take certain things I take certain things from everybody. I leave shit that I don't want to take. You know what I'm saying? So if you, even though I disagree, it does not mean, it doesn't mean that you have to hate someone and just, and don't support that one. I disagree with some of the shit uh, Louis Farrakhan does, the other one Louis Farrakhan does. 
but I'm not going to disrespect that man. And I'm not, and, and I still support him because his intention, what is his intention? What is all these people intentions? If you, if now, if you could say, well, his intention is to, is to hustle. All right, then I, I, I hear your argument. These, these dudes is hustles or whatever, but I always look the good. I always look at the good in people. I always try to look at the good and I think his intention is to help his people. You know what I'm saying? So I won't dis I wouldn't I wouldn't never diss the honor, even though I disagree with certain things. It can be done, people. It could be done. The problem is that's not cool. What's cool is acting like a fucking savage. What's cool is having no respect for people. Having no respect in and that's the number one thing having no fucking respect you know how much like i said you know how much people are in the grave for just opening up their mouth saying some stupid ass shit when if they just treated someone else like a man they probably beat alive today but you know like i said sav being savagery is the, is, is is cool it's cool you know what I'm saying? But I wasn't taught that. I was taught civilization and to civilize all the human families of the planet Earth. And I got that from the gods and I'm glad I went through that for years because people behavior is ridiculous. And like I said, everybody, that's why so much crime. I, I mean, there's other reasons why there's crime and people shooting each other. People just don't have hope anymore. Even though that's not an excuse, but they, they just don't have hope anymore and shit like that. But uh, but a lot of niggas get shot for opening up their fucking mouth and just, just trying to put on this ego, ego. And I'm not, and you know what I'm saying? Oh, I got to prove this to my whole crew. So, you know, stupid, li I, I've seen stupid little shit. You walking into a store or something, it's like a small space. You tap this dude by, by, by mistake. You turn around and go, oh, pardon me, brother, or my bad brother. This nigga want to fight. What you mean? But, well, I mean, just some ignorant shit. I can't fuck with that. And this is the shit that you go you you go through in the fucking hood, and you and you wonder why niggas like polite. As soon as they get money, they out. Fuck that. As soon as I get fucking some money, I'm out. Now, I'm not saying I won't come back and help people that I know, people in the community, but... The shit that I be going through, and that's just some real shit, man. We talking about people's experience. That's just some real shit. Now, it's, I'm not saying only black people does this shit because in all communities, people fight amongst each other. But we got to admit it. And our community is just a little bit up more. You know what I'm saying? So clearing all this shit up, I don't take back. Shaka did an excellent job. But from what I saw from Seti, he did have a relationship with Dr. Ben, period. I'm not trying to get into if he was a real student and he sat down with him six hours. Or did he say, I'm fuck that. I thought that he didn't he didn't really he know him at all. But it seems like he, he did. He, he was around him. So and I, I, I doubt it if you're around Dr. Ben, you won't learn something. You know what I'm saying? So that's just how I see it. And like I said, the shit that's going on uh, with these people trying to lock this man up. Like I said, I would not fucking, I won't wish that on my, my worst enemy, man. Unless you fucking molested some kid or raped a woman or something. Yeah, get, you, get your ass up in hell. But other than that, disagreeing and, you know, business deals going wrong. And of course, there was a lot of things said. But still, man, we got to have enough. You got to have enough, um, you know, respect for each other, man, to not to not take it to that fucking level. You know what I'm saying? Don't take it to that level and putting people information out there and all, all this crazy shit, man. This social media shit is sickening. Uh, I mean, you know, you can make money doing it. And, and I understand we in the age now, especially in the world of business, you got to you got to gotta know know how to use this shit to market and things like that but just the personal things just like you know facebook 
you, you go on Facebook and you see everybody's doing fucking selfies. Everybody don't need to be doing fucking selfies. I'm sorry, man. I'm not trying to be mean and some of y'all watching this might be like, well, you don't need to do a selfie. I don't give a fuck. Shit. I feel like I look good, goddammit. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how the fuck people look at you. It's how you look at yourself. And y'all want to see a proof? Look at Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim was fucking beautiful when she came out. That first album cover picture, oh my God. I had a poster of that shit. And look at her now. She like fixing shit that didn't need to be fixed. Why? Because everybody else thought she was beautiful, but she didn't think she was beautiful. So, you know what I'm saying? But that shit is annoying. Then people put up shit that who gives a shit? I mean, not talking about, you know, life and connecting with other people, but like uh, I broke a nail. Uh, you know, um, I even heard one fucking girl talking about she got to go to the bathroom again. I'm like, really? Who needs to know all this shit? Anyway, I'm going into a whole different video. The point is, man, all right, I'm not going to disable the comments from the stupid shit because I want to interact with the people. You know, just won't answer some of them shit because I'm not going to be like putting, taking out videos and coming back and, and remember myself. I stand on what the fuck I said. People just, just listen to the video. I said, if I didn't come in and say, I have, I have solid proof information that Sanet and them are doing this shit. I said, if, and the only way we could do is take whose word, who word we're going to take for it. We don't all know this, these people. We watch them. We learn a lot from them. With this thing called YouTube, you could get to know people like you get to know their personality, their lives and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So in that way, it's good. But we don't personally hang around these dudes. So we're all going by what we think. And of course, people are going to disagree. And that's cool. I don't want everybody on my channel. Imagine a world where everybody agreed that that's impossible. You know what I'm saying? And I won't want to live in a fucking world where everybody agrees. It's just the way you handle it. The way you handle it. It doesn't have to resort to violence and fucking name calling. Pulling niggas mom, talking nigga about niggas moms and all this shit. You do that shit to a nigga in his face half the next time you ask him to knock the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a, I don't give a fuck how conscious you is. It's just something about talking about somebody's mom. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they dead or some shit like that. You're looking for, you know what I'm saying? So have some fucking respect, man. Have some fucking respect. That's why y'all niggas be getting shot up and, and bottles cracked over y'all fucking heads by people and shit. Because yeah, you just run your fucking mouth. You can't just show respect because it's considered weak. And if, the, I guess the elite, they, they, they did their fucking job to make all this shit. You know what I'm saying? You have to do all this dumb shit to prove who the fuck you are when in reality, the only person that you have to fucking convince is your goddamn self. And I think when you get to a certain level of, of consciousness, you start understanding that shit. It's about saving yourself. And while you're doing that, you automatically start saving people around you. All right? Bobby was right about that shit. He was also right about fucking... Uh, counterfeit spirits y'all need to go to see go see his fucking lecture on that shit because the shit that niggas is doing i mean i know elijah muhammad said we was born uh by nature we was righteous but <laughs> some niggas buried that shit i i don't think i, I don't know man anyway man y'all stay blessed up in peace i'm good i'm gone good today Hope y'all gonna be good. Stay warm if you up in a, a cold environment. And I'ma stay warm down here. <laughs> That's not right. Let me stop. That's not right. And I hope y'all understand what I said. Okay. The channel is two months old. I am going to learn. People make mistakes. All right. Someone told me journalists don't make. Please. I've seen hundreds of times when uh Stephen A. Smith. One of the biggest journalists in sports. He can't. He he comes in. Um, sometimes apologizes. You know how much reporters apologize for certain things. They might get something from a different from a from a source that wasn't uh correct or anything like that. Now it's you know what I'm saying. So stop the bullshit. Stop the bullshit, man. Anyway, y'all stay blessed. Peace. I'm good.